Welcome to Novice Quadcopters. The last time you saw me do a video on this Hubson H502S, um, she was fresh out the box and I was having issues with her going further than 100 meters. After a series of tests, I discovered something was wrong and I started messing with the transmitter. In which case then, I went ahead and did the antenna mod to this. Now, I'd like to point out to you guys that before you even attempt to do the antenna mod, you need to know that on these transmitters, these for the H502s and the H501Ss, the transmitter SMA cable inside, the little gold cap that you pop off, is very, very fragile. This is my second transmitter. And I'll go into detail at another time and point. But today, I'm going to test out these two FPV antennas. They're both from China. Um, some of you have made the mods to your H501S. And some of, them, some of you have also done it to your H502. Anyway, we'll do a comparison to see which one is better. Well, I'm out here in my favorite field. As you can see, we had a little bit of snow. Hope the camera isn't vibrating too much because I need a much lighter camera. But I'm going to do that test on this FPV 14 decibel 5.8 with the Hubson H502S. Uh, like I mentioned before, I had issues with distance. And from this patch of grass up ahead of me where I'm headed, I kind of call that the strip or the runway. They play cricket on it in the summer. But from there to the bushes in the distance there is about 125 meters. And I could not go that far with this drone out of the box. But after making modifications and, and doing a little research, I came to find out if you're having that issue and you do this mod, this might be something you want to consider. But there's a reason why I'm doing this antenna here and this antenna. One of them gets more distance and I'm going to find out. Test one of the Hubson H502S with this particular style FPV, the open panel one. You know, that shows the 14 dBi, whatever. I can do a distance test. I got 10 satellites on the quad and nine on the transmitter. Let's see how far she can go. I haven't taken it up in a while, so I'm just letting it spin. Let me hit record and go out. Alright. Alright, we're at about 83 meters I just stopped it FPV is like real fuzzy um that's at 89 meters let me take it up a little higher to 15 meters 20 okay now it seems to have cleared up some as I got further away from the earth let's push her forward and see if we can get to a hundred yeah, 110. If I can go to the end of the park, that would be okay. Don't want to go over no one's neighborhood, you know. She's still going. All right, 165 meters. It's a little bit of a delay on the turn from this distance. Okay, let's try and fly back. I'm going to have to go to the other end of the park. I don't even see it. Where the hell is it? I'm flying using FPV. This thing is so damn small. Oh, there it is. I found it in the direction there. I'm going to have to go all the way to the other end of the park and see if I can do the length of the park. So I'll let it fly over me and go to the corner here.
I hear it over me. Uh, oh, there it is, passing over now. Anyway, I won't be able to do a real test until I get to the end of this park and go from end to end and I can measure it. But 165, now out of the box, this H502S is supposed to go 200 meters out of the box stock. And keep in mind, I, this one was never able to do it. I see some guys going through 200 meters, 300 meters, whatever. But um, this one never did, thus the reason why I made such mods to it. Now already, with the antenna on, I got more than 100 yards out of it. Now I'm going to try and fly to the other end of the park. Going up to about 15 meters. And I'm going to go out and push. Already low battery, but it still says 7.1 volt. Then I'll actually measure it and put it on the screen, the distance on the screen. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's already starting to fuzz out. Now that's strange because I see where it is. Okay. The distance, okay, now the distance is changing as I'm looking. It's still kind of weird, 30 something meters now. I can still see FPV blinking in and out. I'm gonna hit the return to home and change the battery and try the next antenna. I landed way over there. I made the home spot over there on the strip, so that's where it should be going back to. I actually see it. This is another thing I like about the H502 that the H501S doesn't have, but I just recently heard that there might be a firmware update that'll make the H501S fly back to you, facing you, which is what a lot of people want. At least if you're going to go and return to home, it should um, be facing you so you can see where you're going. And then a lot of people say, oh, well, you can just take over yourself. Well, that's what return to home is. It's supposed to be autopi autopilot, autonomous. And she's landing, so I'm going to cut the video while walking back over here and putting on the new antenna, the new um, factory one, just looks neater, just has a cover. That's the only advantage over the other uh, FPV antenna. Um, just waiting for a few more satellites. Four on the quad, I don't know if you can see that because I really don't know if you can see it, but I'll put up some other type of telemetry. Just waiting for a few more, and then I'll take off and test this one. Oh yeah, I did find out from this end of the park here, all the way to where those houses are in the distance, straight ahead of me, is about 280 meters. Okay, 10 on the quad, and 8 on the transmitter. Return the home switch was on. Okay, start video. And let's see what this one can do. I'm also going to take it up a lot higher, too. Always take off with your quad in GPS mode if it has it. And let her sit there for a minute. Because if you did a bad compass calibration, it's not going to sit still like that. It's going to move around and wobble. Okay, so GPS looks good on it. Push it forward and take it up, straight up. 12, 15, 
Let's go up to about 25 meters. Okay, the FPV blinked. Let's make it 30 meters. Okay. And push her forward. And let's see. So far, the FPV, I have noticed automatically. The picture seems to be a lot sharper. Coming up on 50 meters now. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Maybe if I show it like this, hopefully you'll be able to see it. 84 meters. Now where that house is, okay, she just blinked out once. Where that house is, just past 100 meters, is supposed to be 280. Fresh, right off the start, I can tell you this antenna is a lot better than that open patch antenna. For the simple reason, I'm at 150. I'm going to stop here. The other antenna was snowy, it kept fading out. I just have it aimed pretty good. I'm hoping you guys can see the telemetry here. Or at least, let me keep pushing forward. 170, it blinked again. Two hundred meters. Two hundred meters and I still have a little ways to go. Still have a pretty good picture. If you can't see it see it on here, I'll show the video towards the end after I draw my conclusions. I'm at two forty three. FPV is definitely better. Two hundred and fifty meters right now. Let's try and go up a little higher. At thirty three meters in height seems to be a little delay um she seems to be turning around to me but it doesn't say return to home mode but it turned around to me okay so i guess i'll try and bring her back starting to get a little fuzzy of course because the antenna's not facing me the antenna's in the back of the drone but 200 meters this drone did not do this out of the box. I had to do this modification. Um, I highly suggest it. If you are having issues with going past 200 meters, and I'm sure I could have pushed this past 200. I'm more than sure. I'm at 130. You know what? I mentioned once before that the best quality of this H502S is when she returns to home, lost FPV for a minute. When she returns to home, oh, I just had to point the antenna higher because it's almost over me. It faces you. Let's hope they fix that issue. Oh, I see her right there. You know what? Take her out of return to home and bring her down. And now I can do some flying. So guys, this is the winner right here. This patch antenna. I'll put links to this antenna and the other one. And do your test yourself. But I'm telling you right now. This one is obviously better. Now I'm just going to do some flying around I guess. I can always use footage. Also I'd like to point out. If you notice. The H502S has landing gear on it. Let me bring it down some so you can see. I actually took the landing gear from a helicopter that I had. I put these landing skids on. If you want to know how to do that mod, I'll post a video link down below.